Hey, what's going, y'all? It is yours truly once again. Hey, yo, 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 yo. What up? What up? What up? I think this is important. It's not that bad to have uh, chaos in your life, depending on what you do with it. My thing is, is when you put up with chaos, that's the problem. So here's what I mean about having chaos in your life. Now, some people are used to things going according to plan. Well, plans change. I'm the type of guy that does things on the fly. (laughs) And I'm more about the rocket life than the jet life, that part. But here's what I mean with everything. See, doing things on the fly, sometimes you see things from a bet, from a better view when you're on the fly with it, when you're flying with it, versus just you trying to walk on the ground with it, the ground plan, the floor plan. You see things from a better view sometimes when you're in motion. And sometimes when you stumble upon certain situations, you know right then and there how to put certain things together versus something having to all already be together when you show up because what sometimes certain things fall short of your expectations and subconsciously that makes you want to do something about it. Like this is not really up to my liking or my specifications or my expectations. If you will, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. So that makes you want to do things. Sometimes, You encounter things in life and it makes you want to organize it a certain way. But see, it has to have the capabilities of being organized for you to know I can do something about that. You know, a lot of people now can put together a Rubik's Cube. A lot of times in life, certain things are about just organizing it. That's the best way I can best describe it. There's another part to this. I just can't think of it right now, but it'll come back to me. Maybe I'll have to do another upload talking about it, but sometimes in regards to life, organizing, putting things together, sometimes you just see the possibility, the capability, the probability of something being put together and organized a certain way for the fellas in regards to the feminine, I guess just overall speaking uh, in regards to the interaction of the feminine and the masculine. Sometimes you get around a feminine. She may come off as chaotic at first because you know, with the masculine it's about order and the feminine is about chaos, but there's a probability, a prop, uh, there's a probability, a possibility and a capability on her part to be put together a certain way, to be organized a certain way. Oftentimes, a man expects too much from the feminine. Sometimes it's about what you can resurrect or just erect versus what you expect from her. Sometimes you just have to put things together. But here's the catch. It's about her being able to be put together, able to be organized, able to be restructured. She has to be able and willing of this. It's no different than anything in life that you have to manage. You have to organize. You see the flexibility of that thing or place able to be put together a certain way so it can be constructed upon. It's feasible. So she has to be feasible. And this means she has to be willing, her willingness. I always say this every time it's about her willingness. So for the guys that think, you know, I I ain't about trying to put a chick together like that. There's nothing wrong with that as long as she is willing to go through that process with you. It's about her willingness. You know, it's a given, you you know, it's a given, it's part of her chaos. It's a given. 
But what we can take from that is adding order despite of her chaos. See, my thing is, it's this. It's, it's not really that I see that a lot of the feminine can't be put together. A lot of guys just don't have what it takes. Thanks a million.